So and that was that was significantly up. So those were the first two things we were trying to get done from a you know just from a you know, prerequisite I guess kind of standpoint as far as execution in the other areas. Uh, I think we improved uh, run defense. I think we improved the red zone. I think we improved uh, on third down. So. Those are the things I was pleased with. We got we got a lot of things that we got to clean up and work with, but I uh, saw improvement in those arees, which was good. Actually, had three new linemen that came in late, and David Gilbert in particular, I think seven sacks last year. I mean, coming off a of foot injury. I mean, have you seen from him the same burst he had last year pre-injury? Well, you know, again, there's two there's two things right now. Uh, number one, these guys have been here for only four days. They started practicing on Tuesday. Friday night was a scrimmage. Um, I think they've done a really amazing job. Um, you know, the new guys that come in, Gilbert, Renfro, and Kamal, all of them, to be honest with you, to be able to scrimmage. Play, you know, 30 plays each. You know, on Friday night in four days is really, really hard. And, and again, everybody says, well, you know, football's football. It's, it's like learning another language. You know, really, you know, he might have done something similar at Wisconsin that he's doing here, David, for instance. But it's called something totally different. So until you get comfortable, um, that's when you can play fast and your mind is relaxed. And right now, um, again, I think they've all done an amazing job of being able to get to the point where we could put them in a scrimmage and not worry about, hey, they're going to make a whole bunch of mental errors or whatever. They may make a few, um, but I think, uh, you know, I think we'll see the next step now. I think every day is going to be a major improvement as far as playing fast and playing at that speed that you're talking about. Well, speaking, ahead, speaking, just speaking of the next step, I mean, has this defense taken the next step in your mind? What's different this year? I, well, yeah, I, I think the depth, you know, I think the depth and I think I think our, uh, our conditioning, you know, again, you know, physical conditioning uh, to not wear down. Um, and the depth to be able to, to be able to rotate more guys without having a without having a drop off. I think last year we had to rotate a lot of guys. We had a, we had to drop off a lot of times. Um, I think the, you know bringing in the, the new group of guys right here is kind of going to give us uh, that layer of depth that, that competes with the with the, the ones, but also puts the guys who were the twos uh, on notice right now. You know they're they're battling. They're not just in the game by default. They're they're battling for spots. So I think that's going to make us significantly. Uh, Coach Golden talked about the tackling the other day, and he was kind of perturbed. Yeah. Wanted to see it improve. So, yeah. how's that coming along, and how can the guys improve there? It did. It, it improved. Um, you know, we improved. We, we were about we, got, we went about halfway to where you know generally general measuring stick from the first scrimmage. So we got about halfway to where I wanted to get to, which gives us another 12 days here to get to the opener and, and, and feel like it's at the level we want it to be. So we have to continue to improve. We made strides there. I was pleased with that. Is that is, as a defensive coordinator? Is that something that, that will get you up in sweats at night? Is not being able to tackle? Yeah, certainly. And you know, and again, there's, there's a balance because it, because it's hard because you can't you can't go live, take them to the ground every single day in camp, or else you'll you'll end up with no team by the time the opener comes around. And uh, so, you know, there's a balance. You have to teach them how to do it. You have to drill it. I think you guys are out here. You see, we we, we drill it every day. We teach it every day. We teach off the tape. We we try to simulate different situations. So, you know, but yeah, to answer your question, at the end of the day, yeah. We want to tackle that. We take a lot of pride in the way we teach it, um, and, we, and we want to do that well. So, can you talk about? And I'm sorry if they asked David Gilbert and Renfro individually how they did the scrimmage, what they're going to contribute to the team, and how are they after you watch them compared to what you thought? I think I think they did a great job uh, for being here for four days. You know, to be honest with you, again they started on Tuesday. They came at the toughest part of camp. They came in a part of camp where we're you know we're in the middle of two days. Uh, we're, we're, we're having design practices that are really physical and really testing everybody's physical and mental toughness. Um, and to be honest with you, they missed the whole install. The, the whole defense was installed before they got started. So they had to catch up on all those fronts. It's a new language for them. And that's really the only way I can really describe it. It's like learning a new language. So it's not, you know, it's not as simple as just saying, okay, well, they, you know, the guy played defensive end. He's going to go play defensive end. He has to learn the language and be comfortable and be able to react very quickly based on everything that's going around them. You know, so it's, uh, with all that being said, I'm very, very pleased. You know, it's going to really add another layer of depth and competition for us that we need. How much does their arrival kind of put other guys on notice that, hey, we're not going to stop looking for talent, so you better show I, I, it every day? Yeah, I think, I think that's obvious. You know, I think that, that's one, one thing that uh, the, the guys understand. I think, you know, I think they saw that. I mean, we, didn't, we didn't stop from the time, uh, you know, signing day until... You know, a week ago, we didn't, <laughs> you know, we didn't we didn't stop continuing to try to try and upgrade upgrade, upgrade our team if we can. And uh, you know, that's our job, and they understand. Renfro was a tackle. Is he defensive yeah. tackle? Yeah. Right. Did he, how much did he play? He, he, he probably played 30 plus snaps. Okay. And he and he, and he really uh, was in good shape. Finished really well. He's probably about 310 pounds right now. I think he's was in the neighborhood of 330 at one point. So he's he's. Playing at a weight that's, that's comfortable for him, and, and uh, I was very impressed with his, uh, you know, his stamina. Yeah, so after the, the, the progress of uh, Armbruster, seems like a different guy from a year ago. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you know, I, again, I'd always, I've always been, a, you know, a fan of the things that Thurston can do. I think he's, he's sneaky, strong, even though he was not at the weight that we wanted him at last year. He's a guy who can bend. And he's got, he's got long arms and, and legs. He can bend and he can play with pad level. So he was able to kind of to do it for us last year. He played 325 snaps. He started three games and he played a lot of football. We didn't have him in the spring. Um, you know, I think the overall plan of getting Fig in there and moving the court over there and then knowing we'd have him come back, you know, made us feel good. That that position would be one that uh, we'd feel good about, and I think I feel pretty good about it. It's great competition right now. Fig Fig played well the other night, so uh, I think those two guys are really battling right now. Universally, uh, you know, front seven. Everyone says that uh, Quan is really showing as far as the young guy, and then as far as the back four, um, that Artie Burns is really showing up. Just those yeah. two guys. Yeah, they're, they're they're good football players, you know, and they really like the game. Competitive guys, so uh, I'm excited about both of them. I think they've done they both done a lot of good things. Obviously, they're they're two weeks into their college football career. They're going to continue to get better every day. They'll get better this whole season, provided they don't hit the hit the wall, you know. And that's what that's what you worry about with freshmen. If they can't hit that wall, they got to stay in the grind every day. So how does Kamala look? Good. Oh, he looks great. He's a uh, you know really really uh, you know a, a strong guy, a long guy. Um, you know, uh, he's got all the requisite, you know, skills that you want. I mean, he's almost 6'5", he's 275, 280 pounds, he's got length, and he can run. So it's just a matter of him getting, getting comfortable with what, what we're asking him to do right now. Is two more still, questions, is there, is there still battles, like a cornerback is still those three competing for two starting jobs? There's a ton of battles. I wouldn't I wouldn't say, uh, you know, there's not many positions right now that are sewn up. And I, you know what I mean? So uh, there's always going to be battles. And I think that's, that's that, what, what happens when you get in a situation where guys think they have a spot, that's when you're not a very good team. You know, when they get comfortable and they say, okay, it's my spot, uh, then, then, then we got problems. When you have competition every day and they have to fight for their position, uh, then you have a chance to improve. So if there's Last a depth question. chart that comes out, it's not going to be the final game. The depth, day. The depth chart is, is move, moves daily. It moves daily. It moves by practice. The depth chart might be different this afternoon than it was this morning. Don't look at me. <laughs> I want to ask you about Porter. Yeah, Porter. I mean, there's no final depth chart, right? I mean, they have to they have they have to come out here and perform every day. I mean, that's that's. Uh, <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah. Curtis Porter, can you just talk about him? Yeah. Tell us. Yeah, I think I, I think I think Curtis has done a nice job. Um, and again, stronger. He's in he's in better condition. He can go more plays at a time. He can go with more reverse. So his finish is really the other night. Yeah, because last year he had some, it was hard for him. Yeah, well, he you know he, again he missed he's, he's played six games in two years, so he's he's, he's missed a lot of time. So whenever he's come back, he hasn't necessarily been in the type of condition that you want him. And this year, he didn't have any uh, you know Al problems as far as that went. Also, oh, consistency and all that out always talks about. Yeah, again, yeah, you know, like Curtis guys, practiced yeah, the whole spring. He we to to went through the whole summer and he's been out through the whole training. Like that's, 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 that hasn't happened for me here, so I'm sure he's gaining a lot of confidence from that. He's naturally going to be in better condition. Thanks, Mark. All right, thanks, thanks, thanks Mark. Okay.